Morning, folks. So here's the gig. It's Saturday. Um, August 20-something, 7th, 27th maybe. About 9 in the morning. Supposed to be going to Crosby to race the last round of the border battle, Triple Crown. It's three rounds. This would be the second one I'd make. So Thursday night, came down with a little stomach sickness that's been going around town. I've had something like this before. It's not very fun. This isn't as bad as the last time I've had it, but been out of commission a little bit. And then, then I slipped my rib out of place again. I got a rib I keep slipping out of place. And that's quite uncomfortable. It makes it hard to breathe. But, I think I'm starting to get a little more regular, if you know what I mean. And, I'm going to put the bikes back together and still plan on going up to Crosby. I play this game in my head every race weekend that Trav isn't or can't or whatever, not coming along. Do I want to race the 125 or do I want to race the 450? And so far the 450 is won every time. It's mostly because travel never touch it. It's fine, I understand. Something keeps telling me I want to ride in this two stroke. I don't know. Got a couple tires I got a spoon on, or one at least. I'm gonna put a tire on on the one I'm racing. I got a Kenda on that 450 right now. A hybrid. That's actually a pretty nice tire. I tried that out. God, that would have been last weekend or two weeks ago now. Tried that guy out. Nice soft gummy tire. Um, it was a little wet at the race I went to, but it actually worked really well because it's typically some hard dry ground. So uh, I don't know. I was I was impressed with it. Got just the uh, 81. On the 125, that's a stock tire. But I got a couple test tires I want to try, a couple hybrids again. Butter Connor was telling me I should run this bad boy just because it's a little more open. For the dirt up there, he's been up there. I've never been up there. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know. Maybe I'll put this other Kenda. Excuse me, other Tusk. What's this one? This one's a uh, Recon. Maybe I'll put the Recon on the 125 and the Talon on the 450. Bring them both. And decide tomorrow. I just keep pushing the decision making process off. I don't know if there's trees. If there's a lot of trees, I want the 125. I miss riding that thing in the trees. If it's open and flowy, I want the 450 all day. If it's a big that grass track. I'll probably take the 450. Not feeling 100 percent. Not even close. I 
that constant feeling like you're on the verge of throwing up. It's good. It's great. Yeah, well. I'll text my brother. Maybe he'll want to go and I'll set up the 125 and he can come too. Then we'll both ride. That'd be alright. Эта песня называется Just a Joke. Someone save me from all I've done. Please don't blame me for all my thoughts. Is everything we can see? Just a joke, nothing more Everything we call it truth Suddenly will kill ourselves Get back, get back The spin is deep inside of me Wasting time, fight is fine But in the left can make me feel Get back, get back The spin is deep inside of me Wasting time The bike's ready to go. I got a little Billy Bolt on the TV. Had to fix up a bumper. Battery died on the phone. That's why we lost some of the video. New tire, new bars. Um, I cut these bars nice and narrow. We're gonna try that out, some different grips. I cut them so narrow I'm not super pumped about all of my controls placement, but we'll see how it goes. Gotta try stuff to figure out what you like, right? We'll be taking, taking old Rad made some spots to hook these fancy fancy straps so we'll uh, fill her full of fluids I'm sure that's supposed to make that sound can't be anything wrong with that fill her up with fluids and make sure she's ready to go You'd never guess it by looking at her, but the old girl, uh, well, she leaks more than she holds. But she's done every every dirt bike trip this summer so far. I don't see why I can't do it again. So the only real concerning one is the leak in the radiator. All the other stuff, I mean, pretty well sorts itself out. This is fun to do one-handed.
At least it's only a little leak. Before you take off, you just gotta give it a drink. No big deal. I'll have you know though, I did, I did go ahead and take the time to rotate the front tires on this bad boy. As you can see, the outsides like to uh, like to wear a little premature. So I went in and had them flip the tires on the rim such that the outside's now on the inside and now we got new tires on again. Look at that. Look at that. It's like, it's like having two sets of tires on one tire. To wear one side out and then wear the other side out. All right. That should be enough water to get us few hundred miles. Oh, we're a little just about out of the safe zone. I'm gonna have to add a little. Oh, 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 oh. Should have choked up on it. <sighs> Missed that, but apparently I didn't close the cap on the uh, power steering fluid all the way. That's okay, we didn't lose any. Got two quarts on the jug here. That should be enough to get us there and back. That should do nicely. That should do nicely. Look at that. We're in the safe zone. Painted that myself one time. Once upon a time. Well, bike's ready to go. Pickup's ready to go. I'm spending a lot less time in the bathroom. So I'm going to say I'm ready to go. Just what you wanted to hear. Bag is packed. Bike's ready. Got fuel. Signed up, paid. Just gotta make the drive. Four and a half there, four and a half back. No big deal, right? Alright, we're off on the first part of the adventure here. It's, uh, Another foggy South Dakota morning, but in my neck of the woods, that's honestly the case more often than not. At least the roads aren't icy. Got her pointed north for about a five hour drive that I'm sure will take us five and a half in the old Ford. Get up to Crosby in time to get dressed and do some racing. 